So I just found this subgenre of art on TikTok called horror art and it's like It's supposedly people making these kind of videos where the content is supposed to be either scary or disturbing in some way. I'm not sure how we're supposed to act when we see these kinds of videos, but today I'm going to rate them from either zero being I'm not scared at all and if I see this person I'll probably knock them out to 10 being I'm extremely scared for my life. Okay, what do we have here? Cut the teeth out, take the teeth off. Okay, that is extremely disturbing. I'm not sure how I feel about all the teeth just sitting there with literally no lip to cover that ugly smile. Why are the eyes not even the same size? <laughs> Where's bro's nose? Imagine just waking up in the middle of the night and this guy is sitting in the corner of your room, staring, looking at you with his creepy eyes and no lip smile. I'll probably just log off life at this point. 8 over 10. I'm definitely terrified. Okay, we have some varnish, finishing up the painting, cleaning up the teeth. Why are all the parts of the face double? Wow. Oh my god. It's an actually nice painting. I mean, it kind of looks cute, but then like she has her features doubled which is supposed to be scary for some reason but then again the only thing i'm scared of is how people are going to react when she talks to them because you literally have two eyes so like if i'm looking at you which eye am i going to look at should i just look elsewhere and then pretend that you don't even exist so as not to hurt your feelings and by the way what's happening with the teeth at the bottom it's like this person has four sets of jaws there's two at the top and three at the bottom i'm confused i love to see them chew a peanut <laughs> three over ten i am definitely not scared of this at all if i see them in person i'm definitely getting them a toothbrush i used to have this obsession with trying to make a piece of art that truly evoked real fear like i really wanted to make something that was so scary and so creepy that people tr just did not even want to look at it I don't know why I wanted to do this. I don't know if it had something to do with trauma or because I was just a weirdo or because I don't know why, but I got really, really into this idea and I stopped for a while because a lot of people in my life were asking me if I was okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you think that I'm upset? You think I'm mentally ill? Nuh-uh. Well, that's a creepy looking face. The caption says, I'm in a very good place mentally right now, but honestly, I've wanted to make something truly scary since I was a little kid. This was terrifying me at the beginning, but now what's even terrifying me is, what else have you been thinking of since you were a little kid? There's so much blood on the face. There are no features at all. It just makes it seem like your eyesight is so blurry. So you can't really tell what it is. But it's still there and it's coming towards you slowly creeping. And before you know it, it just consumes you and takes on your own face. Okay, I think I should stop. If not, I won't be able to sleep at night. Why is bro even smiling that wide? Like, what's so funny? You're supposed to be scary. But then again, seeing a clown smile is just freaky for absolute no reason because why the heck is he smiling with so much makeup on i feel like he's either going to do something funny and i'll laugh at the end or the jokes on me because i'll be in a world of pain before i realize what's happening this is definitely a 9 over 10 i'm scared So this person has a sketchbook where they just draw creepy stuff every day of their life. This just feels like death note but for art. You draw a scary face and write a person's name and then whatever you draw is going to haunt that person for the rest of their lives. <sighs> as much as that will make for a nice anime, I'd rather not think about it too much. Also is it just me or did this drawing look so much scarier as a sketch? 
than the final image. The sketch has so much risk, it's borderline scary, but the final image is just sexual harassment. You can literally use this image as a torture device for people who refuse to tell you where the TV remote is. This person is making this design for a tote bag, and as much as I would love to question their thought process for making a scary design for a tote bag, I actually want to see what the final image will look like. So far so good, the drawing is looking anything but scary. This actually makes for a nice tote bag. It'll actually look awesome on a t-shirt as well, especially if it's oversized and I'm rocking that in the gym and watching Sam select videos while doing cardio. Wait, is that blood on the lips and around the eyes? Why is it moving so slowly? Like, it feels like it's struggling to get out. This is quite disturbing and making me question why I decided to make this video for you guys. I could have just talked about something else, but I'm subjecting myself to depressing and torturing videos like this. <laughs> <laughs> drawing creepy things from my dreams it was at the end of my bed i was having a sleep paralysis because i couldn't move its face was melting it was super skinny i could see its spine it was eating something but i couldn't see what it was I still can't get over the fact that I haven't had a nice dream in a long while. It's like I just go to sleep and there's this space of nothingness and then I just wake up. If I had this in my dream, I too would wake up questioning what it is I just saw because this is not giving anything. It's like not scary but then again, it's kind of disturbing. It's just right there in the middle. I'm not supposed to see this guy and be scared of him but then again, I don't even want to see this guy at all. Do y'all want to give him a name too? I think I'll give him Rufus. I don't know, he just looks like a Rufus to me. What even caused the hole in the first place? What's even creepy is how the fingers are moving while there's a hole in the hand. And then there's no blood at all. It's just so weird and disturbing. This will actually be a cool prank to play on your friend in class. And it's quite easy to do because it just looks like they took the drawing from paper and just stuck it on their palm. But then they're placing their hand on that same paper so it looks like you can see through their hand. But come on, we all know that's not what's happening. We're adults here. We're not scared like little five-year-olds. Okay, what is behind the mask? Uh, nope. Double it and give it to the next person, please. <laughs> I mean, this isn't quite bad since we've seen what Darth Vader looks like. It doesn't get more scarier than that. Ew, the skin is still stuck. Ah, look at all the skin that's coming along. This just reminds me of that movie, The Thing, where the alien could get in their body and take whatever part of their body and walk away with it. That is exactly this drawing.
this is legit how I feel every time I come on Twitter. Because some things people say make me want to take away my eyes and not even bother putting them back in my head. This looks like a sarcophagus and obviously if you open a sarcophagus you're not going to see like sleeping beauty in there right the person has probably been dead for years so yes they're going to look like a mess why do all of these have that skin tearing effect on the drawing it's so much more disturbing seeing parts of your flesh still hanging to the other parts while you can see all your internal organs that is so disturbing I was inspired to try this spooky pie design based off of the incredibly talented vegan pastry chef. I used pre-made crust and filling so it isn't vegan but it was super fast to make and the design part only took about 30 minutes. Highly recommend if you're looking for an easy-ish spooky season treat to make this month. Why do I feel like this will actually taste pretty good? <laughs> as much as it's spooky and scary looking, I'll be much more concerned with filling my tummy up than thinking about how far I'll have to run if this guy were to chase me. it's an alarm clock. I feel like I'm at the point in my life where alarm clocks no longer scare me. Unless it's time to go to the gym and I wake up late and immediately start freaking out because I know I'm either going to be late or I'm going to get into the gym and there's an entire crowd there and I have to go in there smiling and saying hi to everybody. When deep down I know I just prefer to enjoy my quiet time in an empty gym with my headphones on doing ego lifting and pushing my reps till absolute failure. Anyway this was actually a fun video for me to make. So if if you want me to make more videos reacting to scary TikToks like this, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'll see you all you pretty penguins in the next video. Bye!